What's good? What's good? Everyone out there tuned in. Yes, we are back. Lighter Fluid 5. It is season two. It's your boy, Viva Mezcal, here at EOTR Studio. Shouts out to 86 Inca. We're doing it once again. And right here across from me, we got one of the artists who will be rocking that day, March 4th, downtown LA. We got IKE, Inspiring Kings Everywhere. Yes, sir. Yes, What's sir. What's good, my dude? What's good, bro? Appreciate you having me, man. How you doing, man? How's your day going? How's been your experience here at, at you know, the media day? How, how's the day going? Oh, man, it's always dope vibes at the, you know, EOTR studio. So, uh, you know, love connecting with some cats, you know, outside of the artists going to be rocking. Yeah, so, man. Good vibes always, man. It's dope. I walk out and I see, you know, IKE. We got, you know, the crudes outside posted. You know, we got Crazy who was here earlier. We had Tony A who was here earlier. It's just like, damn, like all this talent, right? Like it just feels like there's no, I don't want to say like wasted space. Like if like and if anyone here would be wasted, but I mean, just like when you can just look around and see like talented people, like you just know everyone in the motherfuckers a bad right, right. motherfucker. You're just like, all right, it's a different feeling. It's a different feeling, you know? So no, it's still for sure. And it's, uh, you know, I always had that iron sharpens iron mentality. So it's like, you know, even outside, like, just getting inspired, always being open to be inspired, you know what I mean? Talking right. to the band outside and, right. and, you know, just having good conversations about music, producing techniques, like we, we building, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, man. I, I, and you know what? That's your vibe, bro. Like straight up from the moment I'm, from the moment we've met, you've just always had like a real cool vibe, real like, just like talking, chilling, asking questions, like real, a real true interest in like the music side of everything and just kind of, doing what we do you know yes, pursuing sir. this thing so that's right yeah man you know so so for people who may not know you know you you recently moved out here to you know la cali yeah you're staying out in texas right you're yes, sir. texas born so, so talk a little about that yeah man born and raised uh you know i grew up um there in, in a couple of places you know born in san angelo san angelo mm -hmm. uh texas uh spent a lot of time in sonora texas uh, kind of a smaller community and then uh you know, been in, spent a lot of time in Austin, Texas. That's really where I would say I hone my skills as a, as an MC and a, right, as a dope. producer, DJ, all of that. Um, I got a lot of fam in Dallas, San Antonio. Right. You nah, know, Houston, cool, all you of mean, that. We, we hear the accent, you know, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't Texas hide is in, is in. How, how is it out in LA? Like, when, do people trip out on the accent? Like, do people, you know, it's a. Uh, you meet other Texans out here? Like, yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. What's up, man? What, what, what up, y'all? Yeah, yeah anyway. I mean, like, you know, usually uh, it's certain. I definitely got the Southern twang, uh -huh. um, but it's certain words that are more the trigger. Like, if I say y'all, like, they'd be like, what? like, if I'm in a lift. Right. And, you know, I'm like, I'm talking in the backseat to whoever, right? I'm like, yo, what y'all want to eat? They'd be like, the driver would turn around immediately, like, like, where'd you grow where up? Where you bro? from, bro? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, um, but you know, I think, um, I mean, hip hop has had a, a big influence on the way I talk and walk and, and my style and everything, too. So sometimes, to be honest, it's, folks are a little confused. Like, right, right. You know, like when they hear me rap, they're like, you from, like, you Puerto Rican? Like, from New York? You know right, what I mean? Right, like, right. where you from? I mean, like, I'm Mexican from Texas. You know what I mean? So right. it's like, that's influenced by hip-hop right. which is you know east coast golden era you know right. in the 90s and we all kind of were influenced by that i'm sure you know right. the wu-tangs and the you know even the classic right. we got like the rock the bowels age like the yeah, owls and the run dmcs and being kids and like hearing that music yes, it's, it, it influences you right. know you know what's funny out here um is you know la is such a, a melting pot so like even out here i'll get like yo you Persian too? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so folks would be like, you know, like I could be anywhere because I'm always going to be trying to give off, you know, the right, right vibe. Right, right. And, and, and and with that energy, folks feel comfortable talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it'd be like, you know, Cass would come up. He'd be like, hey, you from Israel too? And I'm like, <laughs> nah, bro. Like, uh, you know, so I got to actually, I got a rap. It said, you know, uh, Latinos, some thinking I'm Middle Eastern. Right, right. Mexicans, some thinking I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> from the South, they thinking I'm from the East end, you know? So it's like, dope, it's just man. it's just funny, yo. That's 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 crude, man. I mean, being Latino is very uh, ambiguous. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for you sure. You just, you know, from even for me, I'm always been the huero or the pocho and like, and, uh, you know, you get put on, you get put on the spot, but like you're saying, it's about the vibe you give. You're comfortable where you're at. You're right, comfortable right, who right, you're at, who right. you are. 
it gives that vibe, you know. And you've always had that, bro. So, sh- well, you know, shouts it. out to you, man. I know you stay busy. I know you stay working. You, you know, dropped the track Cinematic not too long ago. Mm-hmm. You got more new music on the way. What, what's popping? Yeah, man. Uh, super excited about this year. Um, I got about 20 freestyles on, on classic beats Ooh. that, um, I, you know, I tried to really challenge myself and, and pick the beats that I feel like some MCs be afraid to all touch. All right, all right, yeah. You know, I'm talking like the Wu-Tang Triumphs and the Biggie right. Who Shot Ya and Camp Lowe, Lucini, like all the, you know, yep. the the stuff that inspires me, but also it's like you got to really come with it if you're going to rap on like nothing but a G thing. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And so... You uh, have to honor that that song by yeah, killing gotta, it. Yeah, you got to honor it. And, uh, you know, lyricism and uh, is always been something that's important to me. Like, I love the wordplay, the punchlines, the metaphors. And then being able to do that while still telling your story. Mm-hmm. So even on the freestyles, it's a little bit of that. But, you know, it's kind of like a tease. They're, they're kind of teasers to set the tone for the right, year. Right, right. I got a full album done uh, called Corazon. And it's uh, it's really me tapping into those, you know, Latino roots. Okay. Um, And, you know, I think we might have chatted before. But, like, my yep. mom was in a Tejano band. Like, that was really my first uh love for music is like she played the keys and you know right, kind of right. in the same vein as like and getting back Selena, to that and yeah, telling yeah. that story yeah and i remember so, you mentioning it so this album is is done the album is done i just i got the artwork you know what i mean so and that's dope bro so you, know, you got year. stuff ready ready yeah yeah so man so make sure you know make sure anyone out there you're following Make sure you're tapping in. Let them know the the social and how you spell the names on social so they know exactly where to find you. Yeah, man. So, uh, you know, the name is is Ike. And, you know, um, it's kind of a, it's not a common name, but it's a it's a name that, you know, if you Google it, you might get other Ikes. Right, so right. I had to get kind of creative with it. You know how we do as, as MCs. And so it's I-K-E. And that stands for Inspiring Kings Everywhere. Inspiring so, Kings Everywhere. So all the socials are Inspiring Kings Everywhere. So, you That's know, dope, whether man. it's Twitter or and that, Instagram. And, and that tells TikTok. a lot about your music as well. Where You know, of what you're saying. And, you know, I go back to that day at the East Side Flea and you pulled up and you rocked some tracks. And that's when I was like, bro, we got to have you at Lighter Fluid. Like, the wordplay was amazing. And you have that, like, that awareness. You know what you're saying. You know, like the bars you're choosing and the beats you do you're very right, conscious right, right, of right. it you know and it shows when you when you're when you're uh when you're on stage and I you're performing it. bro we could all tell i was like all right this guy this guy got something special bro so yeah man excited to have you lighter fluid five yes, march sir. 4th man That's i mean right. we, we could keep going on and on but at the end of the day you got to come through live in the spot and catch right. this man killing the mic at the next lighter fluid and you know what quick too Go sign up for the 86 Invitational. That's right. You know, IKE, he competed last time, too. We we're talking about it. You jumped on, and, and it was one of the hardest to decide. You know what I mean? And and we're fucking with you so heavy. We're like, bro, like, we got to just have you on, on the set. It, you didn't even have to battle, put it that way. But you still come through, and, and we're like, I'm signing up. I'm coming through to right. kill it. Like, that's amazing, bro. Like, like, I just want that to be an example to artists out there and to MCs out there. That's how you get get on like the radar that's how you like just kind of just show love and, sh- and show right, out right, like, right. like jump on the competitions jump on stuff pull up to the spot show up early right you know pull up to the flea markets and and right. that's what you've done and man it's been honestly a, a a privilege to have you involved bro so thank you so much um you know excited to have you and you know one more time let everyone know where they could find you yes sir on and- socials no doubt uh inspiring kings everywhere you know spell correctly you know inspiring with the g kings with a s and everywhere so no spaces inspiring kings everywhere that's gonna be the easiest way uh to find my music find my socials all of that so awesome man and and i gotta echo what you know what you said you know just about it being a privilege like you know i feel like the privilege is all mine like i love the, the spirit of everything y'all do at east of the river there's that y'all for you, you know? um <laughs> y'all. but uh you know it's just that that mentality of uh we're gonna work f- and earn our place in, the, in this game in this hip-hop community we're gonna take it as far as we can and that's really where that it's that same mentality you know and a lot of us that are latinos like we got i feel like we get that from our parents right like right right, right. you know they i feel like my parents did the best they could with what they had and and one thing they had that was crazy was a work ethic right and so whether it's work or making beats or writing lyrics i apply that same work ethic and you know 
And when you do that, when you put that work in, you can show up to the lighter fluid and, and get in the 86 Inca Invitational, you know what I mean? Because you've been right. doing the work. Right, right, And right. hopefully you have that confidence to know, like, yo, what I say going to penetrate. Like, yeah, yeah, and it know? shows. It shows when you prepared, you know, I was telling, you know, crazy this. I was like, it shows that you cared about this, that you came prepared, that right. you, you know, everything from the from the 16 you chose to your presence, how you carried yourself, like right. to have that, you know, to have that on lock is not is not an easy thing. Right. So like it shows, man, and, and we appreciate you bringing that type of energy to it. You no know? doubt. So, and that you know, and you know, we we're talking about honoring hip hop in the in the golden era and some of these beats, but I think you know to the MCs out there, like you got to honor the East of the River, eighty six Inca lighter fluid platform this, that you guys have built. Like, hey man, you, you got to you got to honor it. You know amen what I mean? So that. if you come into the mic. Know know what arena you stepping into. Yep. Come with the energy. Come with the presence. Get your fit. Be looking good. Bring get your, your fit a right. Game. Yep. Yep. Bring your A game, yeah, man. Yeah, and look know. the part, and you know, and take it. You, we we take you as serious as you take you. One hundred percent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, bro. That thank you for that. Thank you for them words. Great example right here. And go check out Ike Inspiring Kings everywhere and catch them live. March 4th, Lighter Fluid 5, Hip Hop Conference and Showcase, Downtown LA Arts District, man. Yes, we sir. will see you guys there. Get your tickets. Thank you so much, IKE. Catch you guys there. Yes, sir. Peace, y'all.